drawers near the periphery In disbelief on delivery Came child from the deep inferno Crushed the head of dead volcano Heartless crow with brittle beak When like to shock to speak Lilac dust of a woman's hair A wooden cross a paper prayer A stone where her body lay A stack of feathers a pile of hay A mushroom for an eyeball A mustache from the snowfall Worms weavering with fairy squid dance Queens and kings fairies weave wigs with eyelash Trance music makes the fairies dance From the caves of snail shells Oppose the mother in medieval spells Mystery flows her wicked liver Thorn and blade and silver sliver Bending around the clover the sapling stems don't break but yield Her pain inflicts new arguments Must learn to sway Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel And today we are going to be making a spray Now it tends to be kind of cliche to make like a protection spray or like a banishing spray but today I thought I'd do it up a little different and make a spiritual enhancement spray so what we're going to need are some water uh, some essential oils um, these aren't like the skin safe kind but I'm going to be using Cedarwood with relaxing lavender, ylang ylang, tea tree, frankincense, rose, and this is called spiritual so I thought might as well use it in the spiritual enhancement spray. Um, you're gonna need lemon juice and some vinegar. Uh, so these bottles are my uh, banishing and protection sprays. I use this for general all around the room kind of stuff and then I use these for warding up the walls and things. I use this one on like if you were doing a flat surface of the wall that you're working on and when I mean wall I mean like a the, the four walls of the room or however you would do it um, and then I use this one to get in between the cracks and things um, but you'll need a bottle also I'm going to use this tiny one because I plan on making this just for like if you were to spray your altar to enhance the Enhance the spirit uh, while you're meditating or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to need a plastic cup because I can bend them and get them into or get the liquid into the hole. Um, but we're going to start with the lemon juice and you're going to need like a, I want to say, either a teaspoon to two teaspoons of lemon juice. This is going to help the um, essential oils mix together better. But lemon is also good for banishing. Um, and then I'm just going to use like a cap full to two caps full of vinegar. And vinegar is also good for protection and banishing, and it's also good for decalcifying your pineal gland, which in itself kind of makes it better for you to be psychic. Um, but then 
we are also going to add some of the oils. So I kind of go by like the ounce of the or the yeah the ounce of the size of these, bo these bottles. So I'll probably use around like. 113 drops um, collectively so what I want to do is give it more of a cedar wood smell so I'll probably add 40 20 and then twenty and five ten and then five of those. So let's start with the cedar wood and lavender because cedar wood and lavender are good for enhancing spirit. I'm going to use Yiling Yiling because it, it's also good for enhancing the spirit. And then we're going to add 20 drops of frankincense, which throughout its time here on Earth has been very, or it has been used for very spiritual purposes. So it's going to enhance the spirit. Right. And then we're going to add tea tree because it is good for, um, or it's known for being antibacterial and thus you can assume that it's good for banishing any kind of negative energy but it's also good for enhancing spirit. And then we're going to use rose because it is a very psychic herb and enhances the spirit. It's got its rose does all kinds of things for spirit to work. And then we're gonna add five drops of spiritual. I'm not sure what's in this. Oh, actually I do. It's got bergamot clove and lavender, which I know that clove is used for spiritual purposes and it's a good protective herb. So we look at that. Uh, drop it. And I added three more drops just to put eight in there. And then we're going to add the water. And then uh, you can stir it up a little bit. I don't know how to stir it. Let's use this instant. And now what I would do is take my clothes bottle, if I can open it, and I would pour this into the entire bottle. And we're going to fill it up. So that's filled. And because 
that filled. Now we can fill this. I actually need more than I thought I was going to, which is always a good thing because you never know when you might need some in the long run. But you see this whole, this is why I like these cups because you can bend them pretty far before they break. So I'm just going to carefully put this in here. And because I made an excess amount of this, um, what I would usually do if I didn't have an excess amount is I would fill it to here, and then you could add moon water, or rain water, or storm water to dilute this because it is pretty strong. Um, but then we just cap it. And then you would have your spiritual enhancement spray. Um, but yeah, then I cap it. And I still have more, so then I would put it into one of these other bottles. But yeah, that's it for today's video. If you like these videos, then hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for future videos, or if you want to let me know how your spiritual enhancement spray goes, then let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. In a dream, I was a werewolf. My soul was filled with crystal light. Lavender ribbons of rain sang, ridding my heart of mortal fire.